Hi guys, my name is Fietti and this is going to be a guide on how you can launch seamless co-op while using mod engine 2. So for example, if you want to use mod replacement mods while having the seamless co-op, how do you get both mod engine 2 and seamless co-op to launch together? Now I've seen a lot of misinformation on this, so I'm going to fill in the gaps that other people just happen to mistake because with the shadow of earth tree now there is an extra step all right guys so the first thing that you guys are wanting to do is get into your game directory so of course you can do this by going to steam find elder ring manage and then browse local files and that will bring you to your elder ring game directory so what you're going to want to do is we are going to need to download three separate applications to make our seamless co-op and mod engine 2 work together this is going to be your mod loader mod engine 2 and of course seamless co-op so what i did is i actually added in the description below the links to all three of these so you're going to want to start by downloading mod engine 2 because this is a github page uh mod engine 2 it says armor core 6 support it is for elden ring it has both dark souls 3 armor core and elden ring all in it but to download you simply click mod engine 2.1 and this will be that this will begin the download for mod engine so you're going to want to also download a mod loader files make sure you're logged in manual download and then slow download from there and then of course if you're watching this video i'm sure you know seamless co-op but same steps file manual download slow download once again make sure you know where you're saving all these files after you have all the files downloaded make sure to extract them into a folder that you know the location of it should look something like this from there go back into your game directory and all you're going to want to do is drag and drop all the folder context from the things that you just downloaded after they've been extracted into a folder outside of the zip file into your Elden Ring game directory. From there, all you really want to do is make sure you change your seamless co-op password so you can easily do this by clicking the seamless co-op folder and then in Elden Ring seamless co-op settings, click this file, scroll down, to see password and change your password after you change the password what you're going to want to do is highlight both of these the dll and elden ring seamless co-op settings and make sure to copy them after they are copied you are simply going to paste them into this folder here called mods paste those in and then it should look exactly like this you are just going to have those two things that you just copied now into your mods folder all right so this is the step that most people just somehow forgot to mention in their own videos that they've done on this so i'm hoping to clarify it so if you found this video you could just hop in and start doing multiplayer with your friends what you're going to want to do is click mod engine 2 from there you will see a file that says config elden ring by the way you can delete these ones it's armor core and dark souls 3 i'm just leaving there they're not hurting anything so i just don't care to delete them but click this one config elden ring from there you are going to see this one right here external dlls not the one right above it this is the exact same thing external underscore dlls now yours will just be two closed brackets because what you want to do is you need to paste the exact game directory for your seamless co-op dot lll now i actually went ahead and paste it this entire thing so you can just copy it and paste it right here to make it look exactly like this uh check the description below once again for that now the important thing to know is you might not have your elden ring downloaded onto your e drive you might have it downloaded on your c drive or even your f drive so make sure you just change where it says e into whether a capital d a capital c capital e whatever you named your hard drive or ssd that you have your Elden Ring installed on. You can easily figure this out 
because if you go into your Elden Ring game directory, you can see what one is highlighted. You can see I have my E drive highlighted. So I know for me, I had to change it to an E. But after you copy and pasted it to make it look exactly like this, assuming that you changed the alphabet, make sure to just click file, save, and then you are simply good to go. You can now just click launch mod Elden Ring and it will launch Elden Ring on both seamless co-op and with mods being able to run guys if this video helped i do stream over on tiktok where i do a lot of elden ring challenge runs so if that's your thing join the streams other than that hope you guys have a great day enjoy your seamless co-op sessions